Good evening, everyone. There will be a new head coach leading the Westwood Patriots boys varsity basketball team next season. Ray Drake was officially hired this afternoon. He'll replace Ryan Regal at the position. Drake has spent over three decades coaching and was most recently the assistant coach of the enemy women's basketball team. He also spent nine years at the helm of the West Iron County basketball program from 1996 until 2005, where he won two district titles. Nice school superintendent Brian DeAugustine says Drake was a good fit. You know, he is a veteran, but he's still got that fire in him to be competitive and to lead us. And uh, we really need that veteran voice to come and take our athletes who we feel have a lot of potential in basketball and uh, lead them to success. Drake is scheduled to meet with his coaching staff and eventually his players tomorrow at 9 a.m. Well, auto racing fans in Delta County had a chance to meet a veteran of the NASCAR circuit over the weekend as Ken Schrader stopped by the Upper Peninsula International Raceway. He finished seventh in Toledo, Ohio on Saturday before flying up to Escanaba for the appearance. Schrader started racing full time on the NASCAR circuit in 1985. He won three races that year and was 16th in points, also earning Rookie of the Year honors. Schrader will drive in the ARCA Series for 10 races this season, plus the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series and numerous dirt track events throughout the country this year. He says there's lots of parity on the NASCAR circuit right now. It used to be there was five or six guys that would win in the course of a year. Uh, I think we're at nine already, or nine or ten this year already, and Jimmy hasn't won yet, Tony hasn't won yet. Uh, I mean, there's a lot more uh, competitive cars. Uh, it's a ton safer than it used to be. The things used to really hurt when you hit something. Now they've got between the, the seats and the restraint systems and, and the safer barriers and everything. It's a, it's a ton safer. After this event, he quickly flew back to Toledo for Sunday's ARC race, the Menards 200, where he placed fourth. Trader's appearance kicked off the season at the Upper Peninsula International Raceway. Well, in the Marquette County track meet, we'll start with the boys. Nagani Zane Radloff was successful in the high jump at 5 feet 6 inches. Next, to the 100 dash, Nagani's Kevin O'Keefe holds off the field in 11.63 seconds. Ryan Antela of Westwood was second as the runners were going into the win. To the 1600, Marquette's Lance Rambo and Cole Rebolt have had solid seasons in this event, and that's how they would finish today. Rambo hit the line in 4 minutes, 42 and a half seconds. The 400 Greeley had the appearance of the old Mighty Ducks flying V formation. Marquette's Jimmy St. Cyr led the group to the line. In the girls, Marquette's Kirsten Iwanski in the shot put her best effort of the day, 34 feet 5 inches, and she was the winner. In the 100 dash, Ishpem Ishpeming's Nasi Thomas in the medium blue crossed the line in 13.78 seconds. In the 1600, where another pair of Marquette girls dominated the race, Lindsay Rudden and Amber Hubner, with Rudden winning in a time of 5 minutes, 10.26 seconds. On the day, the Marquette boys will take first place with 114 and a half points, followed by Nagani and Ishpeming. And it was much of the same for the girls with the Reddits in first with 160 points, also followed by Nagani and Ishpeming in third. Well, Nagani Baseball hosting Marquette in the first game of this doubleheader. Top of the first, Jake Olson to center field. He drives in Brandon Higby for the game's first run. And the Marquette Redmen are up 1-0. A couple batters later, Trevor Koski lays down the bunt. Luke Hill's throw to home plate is not in time, so Jake Phillips will score. And Marquette is up 3-0. Top of the second, back to Jake Olson. Good play here by Grant Johnson and Hunter Ridley to ground him out at first to end the inning, and that will leave two Redmen stranded on the bases. Bottom of the second, Tyler LaJoy, RBI single. Hit gets right past the shortstop. Grant Johnson comes around third to score, but Marquette would win this first game 10 runs to six, and they would win their nightcap as well, eight to three. In some more scores, the Gladstone baseball team earns the sweep. They win 15 to nothing and 14 to three over Superior Central. In softball, it was senior night in Nagani, and the Miners had little trouble with Ishpeming with a pair of W's, 15 nothing and 14 to four. Sam Connor was on fire in the circle for Escanaba, pitching two complete game shutouts as the Eskimos win 8 nil and 13 nothing over Peshtigo. In boys tennis, Iron Mountain would earn 4-4 ties in their two matches against Munising and Escanaba. Marquette will defeat Gladstone 7-1 and over in West Iron County. Two flights did not finish due to the rain, but the Wycons will take it 5-1. 
In golf at the win meet at the Wawanawan Golf Club, the Westwood boys take first with a score of 178, followed by Nagani in second. The minors, Dave Rinaldi, shot a 40 to medal. In the girls, Westwood was also first, shooting 250 on the day with Ishpeming in second. And the Patriots, Lauren Farley medaled. She shot a 56. For scores and highlights, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. Uh, sounds like a tough loss for the Tigers tonight. Oh boy, they were so, so close. Just couldn't get any hits uh, later in the inning. They've been playing well on the road lately, though. They have so. 11 straight wins, so yeah. not too shabby. All right, thanks, Lily. But coming up, the winner of an ugly dog contest is raising awareness about animal abuse. We'll have that story, but first, here's Jimmy Fallon.